guys welcome to another five foot nomad video i'm basilia and i'm Raphael. <laughs> so we are five foot nomad and yeah welcome to another video you know thanks for your support for everyone who keeps watching our videos you know liking commenting thank you so much and if you're new to our channel we talk about working online relocating and the digital nomad lifestyle in general don't forget to smash the subscribe button like and yeah uh in this video we will be sharing with you guys the five reasons the seven reasons why we chose to live in montenegro <laughs> so uh we are digital nomads and we travel around the world and we have the option to live in israel or germany or the united states or anywhere in the world right but we're here in montenegro and he has this residency i've applied for mine so why did we choose montenegro we will be diving into that in this video so stick around guys let's get started so reason number one for us loving montenegro so much is it's a beautiful country yes, okay it is. there like is oh my days like, wow there is there is anything here there is ski in the winter in a distance of maybe one hour drive from here there is jet ski in the summer in a distance of maybe one hour drive from here basically one hour drive from here there is anything you want there's rafting there's hiking trails there's nice old cities you know there's uh the coast there's lakes there's rivers there's mountains like it's just mind-blowingly beautiful very beautiful country and the quality of life that's point number two is extremely high in accordance with this beauty um you constantly have amazing views around you you just go out you open the window you're like wow <laughs> amazing right this is what other people in in their own countries struggle to uh, just get a plot that sees this mountain or that lake here it's just an obvious thing available in abundance available so all cool. over you want to live by the river go live by the river it's blue turquoise it turquoise came down. blue wow. water and there's waterfalls there's anything you can think of besides of deserts <laughs> besides of deserts the only deserts here are mountain peaks uh, where yeah it's full of snow and doesn't rain that much okay but besides of that it's uh it's a very very lush country and uh quality of life is very very, very high. high because you can do different things you can have a certain lifestyle here you know if your lifestyle is like uh going to the gym and then having massages every other week and going to parties and you know there's a lot of things you can do here whatever you, know, you to like have the lifestyle that you love and that leads us to the third point okay which is directly connected to the lifestyle it's cheap okay yes i feel like this is one of the major reasons why <laughs> we're here you know in comparison to israel or germany whoa boy like montenegro is dirt cheap in that sense it's like one of the cheapest countries in europe so i don't know of many countries in europe that uh, are cheaper and they're not even that much cheaper like maybe there is albania that is not far from here being 10 percent cheaper and not even in everything and some things it's more expensive than montenegro maybe there is moldova next to ukraine maybe ukraine belarus who wants to live there well these are not beautiful countries uh, like montenegro they don't have the spectacular landscape they're not touristy they're cold, dark countries where we people don't, don't like cold countries. People don't smile when when you tell a joke. They they're like, you must be stupid, right? You think this is funny? Yeah, to live here in Montenegro is quite affordable for most people. You know, uh, for the cost of living and everything. You the cost know? of living is 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 cheap here. You go to the supermarket. You pay maybe half of what you would pay in a first world country for many products. You can get pretty much anything in the supermarket. You don't have to look around in small stores and in markets and these. Everything is quite well centralized and readily available in the highest quality. Okay, it's not one of these countries that you come and you get like uh, products and then like, oh, that's why, why it's cheap yeah you, you you're not looking for assorted meat for 500 naira here 
Yeah, this is this is not the spot. Here you get mwah, quality, high quality things, and the rent is affordable. For with 250 euros, you can get a nice one bedroom apartment and in the capital yes, city yes. or down by the coast. Um, very very cheap. The same apartment could cost you up to it's a it's a range. It could be five times as much. Could be ten times as much, depending on how luxurious your location yeah. is. Uh, in a first world country, it's just unaffordable to live like that. Um, on top of that, when we're talking about quality of life, utility bills are cheap. As utility well. bills are cheap. You you can get away with uh, 40 euros water and uh, 50 euro electricity and and bills that in first world countries are unheard of. This yeah. is is just not gonna happen. Okay. For example, electricity in Germany is two to three times more expensive Definitely. than here. Definitely. Even electricity in Cape Verde, no? Because electricity in Cape Verde, high. once Ooh. you pass a certain rate, certain amount of electricity you consumed uh, can really skyrocket. One time I received the 800 euro electricity bill yes. um, in Cape Verde. It was not nice. <laughs> it was nice. And when your electricity bill is higher than your rent. Yeah, ah, and, and, and uh, cool. many people that they get 800 euro electricity bill, the next thing they are starting to think of is, how do I skip the country? <laughs> okay, or where, where do I run? No one can afford this. No, not no. everyone uh, can just say, ah, oh, 800 euro, okay, I'm just going to pay it and next time be smarter. So uh, here you don't have surprises like that. There is no shortage of electricity. Yeah. They have dams, they have windmills, they have power plants, they have whatever you want. Uh, plus they have neighboring countries like Croatia, Bosnia, Serbia, Albania that also produce electricity and they can trade power between themselves, mm -hmm. which basically gives you an advantage over any island country. Yes, okay? so cost of living is really affordable you know it's cheap here you can have a great life you know filled with adventure for small money in comparison to first world countries like very, america very canada or germany and this brings us to the fourth reason why we chose to live in montenegro which is the weather guys the weather, oh my yeah. days the weather is so amazing so a lot, a lot of the quality of uh, uh life parameters uh, have to do with what makes you smile in the morning uh, That's true. So, so so here you wake up you see there's almost every day a bit of sunshine there are like more than 200 days of sunshine here per year. Maybe in Nigeria, that's to be taken for granted. In Europe, it's not. Not okay? at all. Not at all. The, in, in Germany, if you get 100 or 150 days, that's a record year. Um, it, there's, there's good uh, climate here in terms of temperatures also. It rarely ever freezes. It snows in the north. It no? snows in the north. It snows in the mountains uh, outside of uh, Podgorica here too, if you go high enough. Uh, above sea level but if you're at sea level Podgorica is roughly at sea level or if you're on the coast it rarely ever snows it's uh, it's not like that you can live here without freezing off you can live yeah. here with the Mediterranean climate with a palm tree next to you with an olive tree next to you I mean we've spent uh, summer here so far and summer was quite hot in Podgorica I would wow. say like it was hot I think some days it got to like 40 degrees. No? We, we had Dubai days here. We like, had 40 it days. It was hot, but like it was also nice because personally I've never experienced this sort of weather in Europe. You know, in Germany, when I visited, it was like late uh, spring and all, and it was like pretty like cold. But like the summer here is awesome. Now we're going into fall and winter. And very nice. Still very nice. Yeah. We've heard that it doesn't uh, freeze here in Podgorica. You know, uh, it doesn't snow here. There's a right. snow, you're just going to see the snow falling on the mountains around the city, which is giving you a, a bit of an ambience, a bit of a vibe. Wow, yeah. uh, so beautiful, white peaks and all of that. Um, so if that's what you're after. Yeah, if you're looking for like awesome weather in Europe, you know, without the insane cold. <laughs> perfect <laughs> combination. is the perfect. Perfect combination. the perfect choice. You can drive up to, uh, to uh, slide in the snow and come back down to warm climate all within the same day um it, it, it's all here for you on top of that point number five is people here are warm and friendly yes we cannot talk about a place without talking about the people because it's the people that make the country if the country is super nice but the people are not nice then it's an epic fail right but here the people are so amazing like 
they're friendly they're helpful you know they will go out of their way to help you out as a foreigner because i feel like they understand that they're at the face of their country and you know their economy is based on tourism and i feel like they sort of behave in that way to like take care of their uh, foreigners and tourists and they treat you really really nice they adapted quite well and they're also quite positive about using their uh, english skills and practicing them so no, most people here speak english actually like we've never had the issue of language barrier you know like most people speak english which is amazing you yeah know, they like, like they like to practice yeah. their english skills okay they don't have uh, uh, opportunities all the time necessarily not everyone works in the tourism industry but most of them learned it at school and so they're they're quite uh, able to uh, express themselves and show their gratitude for you visiting their country and enjoying their country they like to ask uh, how do you like Montenegro? And, and, and <laughs> That's true, they like to ask and, that. And they love to get uh, a bit of a review, especially if it's a positive one that yeah. comes with a smile. Um, it's not to be taken for granted. Of course not, because the people are nice. And if language barrier is like your concern that like, oh, Montenegro, they speak Montenegro in there and I won't be able to communicate. No, people here speak English, so you yeah. don't have to worry about and, that. And they, and they don't think you're stupid because you have a, a joke or... or some comment they don't understand or in many parts well, sometimes they get it no? they, they get it here they yeah. get it in Eastern Europe like I was I was trying to tell a few stupid jokes I wasn't sure if I'm in, in a mafia movie or something some of them looked at me like you want to get stabbed hey like, oh my days <laughs> like it's it's a different culture here yeah. it's much more it, Mediterranean and, and, and it's uh, warm it's a warm culture not warm culture, cold yeah. like the north you know? hey come to my house I have steak you want you want cigarette you want uh, schnapps you want beer you want beer you want whiskey what you want just be happy <laughs> so this is the mentality here it's yes. very very welcoming it's uh, the only word I know for it is awesome it's really awesome and this brings us to the point number six which is immigration here is friendly and easy yes, overall the state treats you in a in a humane way when you go to the immigration office everybody's nice there are no crazy lines nobody looks at you like at the u.s embassy of like what, <laughs> what are you doing like you're here? going to the slaughterhouse you know like you're going to be slaughtered yeah well, what That's are you doing here feels going to the u.s embassy we we, we, we reject 90 percent of nigerians what are you doing here <laughs> Okay, so no, you don't have that vibe when you're There's going no here. There's no bias in that sense. There's no bias. As they, long as you meet the requirements, you should be fine. They don't care if you're Christian, Muslim, Jewish, Buddhist, okay, okay. black, white, green, purple. They don't give a shit, man. They, they don't see many immigrants here. Okay, yes. They watch the news. They see there's a civil war in Syria and Afghanistan. They don't want these people. Yeah, they're not like, oh, everybody come here and take all the goodies. No, they don't want all these people. They want their proof of funds. They want to see that you're a solid person, that you're solid financially. So you can be a part of their economy. You know, yeah. they, they don't want you to come here and leech off of the state or, you know, take advantage of, of the resources. You know? They want like, good intentions, not but it's not like, oh, my God, you need to be a multimillionaire. You need to be A, B, C, D. No, you need to be a normal person, not some fuck up. Okay, that's all. It's that simple. Yeah. It's nothing, uh, nothing unique. And on top of that comes a very important observation we've made here that I think is yes. highly important for Nigerians, for Africans, Caribbean people, African Americans, everyone that is a bit different from what they see here on a daily basis, which, which is, is Europeans. Black. So, so black people here are very unique. Yes, which is the seventh reason why we're here, actually. Being black here is different. You know, in Nigeria, you know, when they see a white person, you know, they treat them differently. They give them preferential treatment just because they're white. That's how I feel here in Montenegro, you know, like everyone's interested in you. They're curious. They want to help you out. They want to talk to you. They say hi. They wave at you. They give you all these nice compliments. Like I feel like a celebrity here in Montenegro. People want to take selfies yeah, with you. Yeah, when I go out with a friend that uh, came from the US, uh, a black chick as well, when we go out, it's insane. People want to buy us free drinks. <laughs> like people are waving. People just come and say hi and ask us where we're from. They're like, oh, I want to be like you. Oh my God, I like your hair, blah, blah, blah. You know, like 
it's insane i am completely like 100 percent enjoying my celebrity status and yeah that's one of the reasons why i mean so if you want to feel like oibo feels in nigeria <laughs> without the slimy part of i want all your money yeah right okay? right uh without yeah. all the sliminess this is where you should be this is this is where you should be because if you go to germany or to france or to canada or to, how many Nigerians have they seen? How many stories did they hear? You're just another st statistic you're just and a everyone statistic. assumes you're a refugee, you know? Next. Okay, you're just another one that somehow made it out of your shithole country. Here it's like, wow, Nigeria. I never hear about Nigeria. Tell me about your country. Africa, I want to or, visit Africa. You know, I want to ride the giraffe. I want to, I don't know, whatever it's interesting for them. crazy expectations they have here, but it's definitely raising their curiosity and you are the conversation of the day for sure. They're going home and they're going to tell their family, oh my God, I met a black person like we saw on TV last week. So, yeah, wow. Yeah, so, yeah, this brings us to the end of the video. So, to recap, the seven reasons why we love Montenegro. The people are amazing. The weather is awesome. You know, the quality of life is so high. It is the, one of the cheapest countries in Europe. You know, it's beautiful. The immigration is relatively easy. And being black here is extra, extra special. There so, you go. It's that yeah. simple. So guys, uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and yeah, if you have any questions, ask us in the comments, we will answer your questions and yeah, thanks for watching, until next time, bye! bye.